is Rhys and welcome to another showcase video at Primeport's automation showroom. The LS7-3 can run a variety of different trays and is easily programmable from its touchscreen control interface here on the control board. The controls can be set up to run on single phase power and are very easily pre-programmable. So let's take a look at the full setup. Um, right um, in front of us now we're walking towards the RS7 and the DC500 tray destacker. Then we come down and we've got our cedar line, the LS7-3. Um, and then we make our way down to the watering station, which includes a stacking unit. So let's take a look at where the line begins. Uh, here we have the DC 500 D stacker from Daros, and um, I'm just going to press the start button so you can see the trays, empty trays being loaded onto the RS7 tray filler. So as the trays drop down and enter the conveyor belt, they uh, move down to the tray filler to be filled. Um, and as the space clears underneath the D stacker, it'll drop another tray and keep the line full of trays. The new trays, um, after coming from the D stacker, will enter the RS7 tray filler and be filled up with the potting media of your choice. They then, after being filled, get leveled off and transition to the LS3 cedar line. As you can see the tray uh, empty today, uh, coming out onto the LS3 line. And the good thing about the, L um, the RC7 tray filler is there is a little switch on the end of the line there that will stop the trays um, from continuing the line until the line is ready for another full tray. So the LS7-3 has four stations on, on the line. Um, after I show you these stations, we're gonna do a little bit of a demo of the trays going through. Um, our trays are not full with media today, but I've put some weights in so that we can give you the general idea of how it works. So station one, we've got the Dibbler unit. Then from the Dibbler unit, we have the sewing unit, part of the machine, you could say. Then from the sewing unit, we have the covering unit, which uh, you can put the likes of vermiculite in to cover the tops of your trays if you choose to. And then from the vermiculite unit, we have the watering station, which includes our stacker unit. Um, you can choose to stack trays, full trays, in the stacker unit, or you can bypass that easily in the settings and send your trays onto the roller conveyor at the end. So as promised, trays will first come to the dipper station. And as you can see, the dibbler moves up and down with the rounded off pins to make indents of where your media will be so that the seed can drop into the cell. So after the dibbling station, we have the sewing section where the seed is picked up by vacuum and blown by air into the trays below. After our sewing station, we have the covering station. The copper um, disperses your vermiculite to cover the trays and then sends it on to the watering station. So as the trays come through onto the watering line, it uh, passes under the watering tubes. And then we've got the stacker unit on today. It'll go onto the plate in the stacker. Push the tray on just like that. Just a couple of little cool features we've got with the machine when it comes to shutting it down for the day. Um, we've got this handy um, air pistol gun here for blowing down the machine. Uh, it makes it very easy to blow off any loose media that may have dropped onto the conveyor belts. Um, very good, very useful tool. The other thing we've got here is um, people find it quite troublesome to pick up and collect their seed after they've planted it. In the, um, their trays at the end of the day so we've got this awesome little device here which we can just easily 
unplug and uh, turn on our vacuum and just run the hose along our seeded seed tray here and pick up all our seed unplug it when we're done obviously turn off the, uh, the vacuum and then take your seed out put it into storage easy as that so overall the LS7-3 seeder line can greatly reduce the time in which it takes to sow trays especially when you've got real fine seed that can be tedious to sow by hand thank you for watching another automation showcase video and uh, Feel free to check out our social channels for more information and don't forget to have a look at our website too. Until next time, catch ya.